Hello, um, this is just a quick guide of something that I found out about that affected me um, earlier on today and it's something that might be quite common with Windows 10. So I thought may as well show you this video format because I couldn't see anything on YouTube that's shown you how to do it. Right, basically, if you're like me, uh, you may have multiple hard drives. Um, as you can see, I've got quite a few on my computer. Um, and down the side on Windows 10, what it's decided to do with a new update of um, the November update is it's put all your hard drives here, but in a different order. So it's not going from C going upwards anymore. It's just put them in some random order. I'm not quite sure how it's decided on. I think it's um, based on the actual name of the drive now rather than the driver letter. Um, but also we've still got this PC. And when you click on that, you'll see that the drives are still in here in the correct order down the side. Um, so it's basically duplicating the drives here and here. Right, I'll put it on the screen in a moment, uh, but the address is quite long that we need to go to. So what you need to do is press Windows uh, key and the R button to bring up the run command. And you want to go to Reg Edit and then press OK. So it brings up your registry editor. And now in here, the place where we need to go is in H key local machine. Um, so you just click on the little, little down arrow. Then we've got the software that you need to go into. And then we need to go into Microsoft. And then you need to open up um, Windows, then current version, then Explorer, then desktop, then namespace. And at the very bottom, you'll see one that says delegate folders. And if you open up that one, you should have the same key name as what I've got there. Um, the guide that I read before did say to delete it, uh, but what I would rec recommend doing is if you right click on that one here, exactly this one, and go to rename, click at the end, and put full stop old, and press enter. Now that will just change it, so it's keeping it still there, even though there's nothing actually in there, um, just in case you have to revert back to it later on. And then what you need to do as well is there is another way that you need to what you need to do is if you've got a 64 bit computer, um, so to check that out, if you press the Windows key and the pause break button, then it will bring up your system information window. Now, in here, it will tell you if you've got a 64 bit pro, uh, operating system or a 32 bit. If you've got a 32 bit, that's all you need to do. If you've got a 64 bit, what you need to do now is close out of this and if we close out of this one so again it's HK local machine then software again but now we do the same thing but in wow 6432 node so wow 6432 node then Microsoft and then uh, Windows current version Explorer desktop namespace delegate folders and then again you'll see i've already done it on mine it's got the, the key here right click rename and pop the word full stop old at the end and then just close out of your registry we don't need to save it or anything and then the next time you open up your um explorer when you look down the side if i just close out of this you'll see that all those extra hard drives have now gone and when you open up this pc it's just got them in there all in the correct drive name order um, rather than being um, based on the actual name of the drives. Um, so that should solve the issue. Um, like I said, I'll put on screen here, um, probably just here, um, I'll put on the two locations that you need to go to, um, just so you've got it all to hand. Um, but yeah, if you have any problems, pop it in the um, comments below. Um, obviously, be very careful with the registry because that can damage your computer if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, but if you follow the steps word for word, then you shouldn't go wrong because we're not actually changing anything drastic. We're just telling it to ignore those extra drives that the um, November update has put on there for Windows 10. Also, if you found this useful, um, pop a like below um, just so I know. And I might bring out more little videos like this in the future when I come across little things that aren't currently on YouTube. Um, that I feel may benefit people. Thank you.